All right, Greg, go ahead. All right, Ben. So defensively, you feeling comfortable? Is the defense starting to, you know, find its stride now? Absolutely. Yeah, I think. I mean, today and tonight we played really fast. Um, all week. I mean, we practice. We really pride ourselves on practicing really hard on Tuesdays and Wednesdays because um, those are our most physical days. <clears throat> and you can really tell throughout the week uh, if we're going to perform well if we practice really hard and physical those days. And this week we did. Um, and you did a couple of games ago, now that you got all these um, reps? Yeah, I would say it's definitely slowing down for me. Yeah. Did you expect to play this much or have this much of an impact this early? Um, I would say coming out of high school, it's hard because you don't know how fast the game's going to be. You don't really know exactly what college football is going to be like until you get there. Um, but coming in, in, in early in the spring and – just getting used to the game, I think I expected to play right before the season started, yeah. What's like the easier things for you to get you know, accustomed to and play in or the aggressive parts of the game, tackling, run filling, things like that? Does uh, on the other side then are the harder things, pass coverage, things like that a little bit, things that might be a little bit more complex than they were in high school? Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, the pass coverage part <clears throat> was my biggest adjustment coming into college. Um, but I think I'm really getting the hang of things now. So, like, as the middle linebacker, when they throw all these quick outs, it's all game long. Yeah, I mean, well, in certain coverages, we, you know, um, have those guys, but, you know, you got to come down and break on them. And uh, tackling a college football player in open field is one of the hardest things you can do. Um, but going back to your practice, going back to fundamentals every time that happens and making an open field tackle. And I guess you can't. You probably want to, but you can't cheat on them at all because yeah. that's when they'll run it up to go. For every under, there's an over. So bite on it. I'm going to throw a bigger one. What was the defense better overall today than you had been the last few weeks? You, you said why? Yeah, why? Um, the mindset going into the game. Um, we preached just fighting for your brothers all week this week. Um, <clears throat> uh, there was something different in there in the locker room before that game. Um, that's our job to replicate that and bring it to every game, but we were fired up to play this game. Pass rushing from the off-ball spot, is there a secret to that? I mean, there, it takes a lot of time when you're five yards deep mm -hmm. to get to the quarterback. Like, what's the key? In <clears throat> yeah, I would say on certain blitzes, trying to time it up, knowing the snap count. Um, some early in the game, it's kind of a little bit hard to do, um, but once you get a feel for the, the cadence, you can try to get time it up, get in line without jumping off sides, obviously. But um, yeah, it's definitely harder to blitz from depth. Yeah, in the last two weeks, you guys haven't trailed. What does an early lead getting a, you know out to a good start as you've done these last two? What does that mean to the defense? Yeah, the I mean, it means a lot. If we can come out strong and um, just hold teams, I mean, zero in the first half sounds great. I mean, if we can do that every game, come out fired up like that, we're gonna have a lot of success. Do you guys, when it gets into the third there, do you guys start talking about pitching the shutout? Um, that's always, I mean, it's in the back of everyone's head. Like, there's still zero points on the on the scoreboard. Um, but we're happy for a win, so. Is it more one of those things, like a like if a pitcher's throwing a no-hitter where you know, but you don't bring it up? <laughs> yeah, kind of, yeah, kind of. Same thing. Walk us through the sack tonight and the emotions of it, what you saw, all of that. Yeah, well, um, drive back in coverage. I see the um, quarterback rolling out, so I, you know, check my surroundings, see if there's anybody I need to grab onto, and there was nobody around. <clears throat> Running back stayed in and blocked. So I actually didn't like my angle I took on the quarterback at all. I had to stop my feet and try to, you know, make an awkward tackle on him, but I made the play, so that was good. I also have my defensive line, you know, breaking him out of the pocket, so I haven't had the chance to make that play. They did a really good job tonight. Neo talked about the kind of was late in the week to fully change the game prep with Slovis not starting and a different QB without much film. Did that change anything for you guys? Any different mentality? Did you have any conversations about we got to change this up at all? I mean, there were a couple of things like the um, just quarterback run game, really. But I mean, they're the same team. We're prepared the same way. And really, I think we could play anybody. Um, we could have played anybody today and practiced you know, the same way we did this week against any opponent, and we would have got the job done. Players talk about bowl eligibility. Now that you guys are bowl eligible, was that a conversation during the week at all? Um, it wasn't a huge uh, 
point during the week because that's that's not our final goal. You know, <clears throat> we're still in the running for a Big 12 championship game, so I think that's our real goal here. Okay, thank you very much, sir.